Hi, my name is Philip Lottes from the Photogrammetry and Robotics Lab and in this small video I'm going to present you our work about joint stem detection and crop weed classification for robotic plant-specific treatment in precision farming applications. But first let's dive into the current state of the art of weed control. So if you go to the fields you typically see big tractors equipped with big sprayers uniformly applying the same dose of agrochemicals to our field. This in turn causes huge negative environmental impacts and is a waste of material since not every region in the field has to be treated equally. If we go to organic farms in contrast, weed control turns out to be a very labor-intensive task at a comparably low speed. So the question is, how can we do better? Consider autonomous robots for the weeding task. These robots can be equipped with different actuators like selective sprayers or for more precise ground intervention with lasers for thermal treatment or different mechanical tools, for instance, for punching or plowing. Autonomous weeding robots offer a great potential to treat every single plant on the field individually and select the most effective treatment for the current situation on the field. Our approach provides the necessary information to the robotic system, allowing it to choose the most effective treatment given the current situation in the field. On the left side, we see the input to our system, given by an RGB image captured by the camera system of the robot. Our plant and stem classification system then provides two kinds of outputs. First, the semantic segmentation of the scene, saying for every pixel if it belongs to the class crop, dicot weed, grass weed or soil. Second, we provide the locations of the plant stems for the crops and dicot weeds. This information can be used to guide more precise intervention methods such as laser-based or mechanical weeding. We propose an end-to-end -end trainable, fully convolutional network architecture for joint stem detection and plant segmentation. We use two task-specific decoders, one responsible for predicting the stem regions for crops and dicot weeds and the other one responsible for predicting the semantic segmentation into the classes crops, dicot weeds, grass weeds and soil. We share one encoder which is responsible for extracting features, describing the image content and pass those features to both task-specific decoders. We evaluated our approach on real-world data using two datasets. In the top row you see a dataset acquired by an agricultural field robot under artificial illumination conditions. Whereas in the bottom row you see a dataset acquired by a UAV system flying at a low altitude acquired under natural lighting conditions. As the qualitative results show, our approach is able to provide accurately the semantic segmentation of the scene distinguishing crops, dicot weeds and grass weeds, as well as provides the stem locations for the crops and dicot weeds. To sum up, in this video I presented you a novel approach for joint stem detection and crop weed classification using fully convolutional networks. By our approach, we enable robots for plant-specific and selective treatments in the field. And our approach shows state-of-the-art performance compared to previously published approaches. And on top of that, we also published the datasets used in this paper for triggering more research in this direction.